Welcome to our training on what are your school's policies. My name is Juliana Cotto and I'm a policy counsel for the Youth and Education Privacy at the Future of Privacy Forum. The objectives of this module are to one, identify your school's policies on student privacy and data governance, two, consider the importance of policies that protect student privacy, and three, explore why the policies are needed and when they should be consulted. Student privacy is best protected by schools and districts with a data governance plan, and data governance refers to the policies, practices, and procedures allowing organizations to effectively manage their data. So consider the amount and sensitivity of the personal information collected and used and maintained by schools and districts. Establishing a robust data governance program is critical to protect student privacy, and it ensures that all stakeholders are engaged and invested in creating a culture of privacy. Schools and districts have a number of policies that govern how and when data can be collected, accessed, shared, and deleted. And these policies may or may not specifically apply to educators, but they do tend to have useful information you all will want to know. So in this module, we're going to touch on a list of policies that you as an educator should be aware of and dive into more specifically what the aspects of the policies are that you want to be familiar with and at what times you should refer to these policies. Now, it may seem like a lot, but these will all speak to practices educators commonly encounter. So knowing about the existence of these policies will only help you align with district policy and protect students' privacy. The first we're gonna discuss are school policies around adopting new tech and other app products into your classroom. So your school might already have a list of vetted tools and a process to request new tools to be used before introducing a new app or platform to your classroom. And these policies and processes ensure that the tool is aligned with student privacy laws, has sufficient privacy protections, is secure for classroom use, and has a proper contract in place. So you're going to want to consult these policies before introducing any new tech into your classroom or to your students and before engaging in any district approved platforms. Your school may also have a policy regarding posting student work and this policy will give guidance on what parental communication is needed. For example, if you'll need parental consent before posting a particular student's work. It will also provide clarity on what types of student work is allowable to post. So for example, does it matter if the student's name is visible and what if it's graded? And also consider the content. It may not be advisable to post a student essay that speaks to a personal story that that student may not want posted. So consult this policy before posting student work. And this includes posting physically in your classroom, but also to a website, media outlet, or other third party. Another important school policy to be aware of is in regard to social media use. In this policy, you will want to see if it is allowable for students to engage on social media for classroom or school related activities. The policy should also give guidance on how you can use your social media account, including if you can post school related images to your social media, if you're able to communicate with family and students on social media, and if you can friend or follow students on social media. So you'll want to be sure to consult this policy before assigning school work that involves social media or before connecting and interacting with families and students on these platforms. Your school will also have a policy on directory information that will state the types of personally identifiable information that your school has designated as directory information. Directory information is student information that would not generally be considered harmful or an invasion of privacy if it were to be disclosed to others. So typically directory information includes student names, address, telephone, date and place of birth, participation in activities and sports, or dates of attendance. And schools may disclose directory information to third parties without consent, as long as families know what information is considered directory and have the time to opt out. So again, you want to refer to this policy to understand the type of information that's been designated by your school as directory information, and also which parents or caretakers have opted out of allowing directory info to be shared with third parties. So consult this policy at the beginning of the school year and when a new student enrolls in your classroom, 
as your school will send out a notice classifying directory information and will ask parents if they would like to opt out. Another school policy that you want to be familiar with is in regards to photos or videos of students. So you wanna to look to this policy for guidance on if it is allowable for you to record or take still images of students in class or during school events, including field trips, when you need parental permission before taking the photo or video of students and how you can use these photos, including where they can be posted, both in school, in the classroom, and also online. So consult this policy before taking photos or recordings of students and before using them, distributing them, or posting them. Another policy that your school might have is in regards to video classrooms and virtual learning. So in this policy, you want to look for what is the district approved video conferencing platform that should be used with students, if it is allowable for you to record video classrooms, and if it is allowable, where to store any of these video recordings and who can access the recordings. Be sure to consult this policy before conducting or recording virtual classes. Your school will also most likely have a policy on PPRA or the Protection of Pupil Rights Amendment. We have a whole module dedicated to PPRA to learn more. This policy will include your district's local requirements for PPRA, and you should consult this policy before administering any student survey or asking questions that a student might answer with sensitive information. Another school policy you'd want to be familiar with is in regards to student and parent communication. So looking to guidance on what are the district approved tools to communicate with students and families and consult this policy before using another tool to communicate with students or families. Schools also tend to have data destruction policies that will give guidance on the proper way to dispose of student work and student files, both paper and electronic. Consult this policy before disposing of student work or student files and when those worker files are no longer needed. And finally, we have four policies that are joined together. And these policies, there's not too much to be familiar with, but one, you wanna check for the existence of them and two, know who to go to regarding these. So this includes parental information requests under FERPA, parents have rights to access their students' records. And so if a parent makes a request to access their students' education records, know who to go to at your school or district to fulfill this request. Secondly, is in regards to data sharing with community organizations. Your school might have an after-school program that it may share data with. So check again with your with your school to ensure that you're following school policy on what data can be shared with these community organizations your school has partnered with. Third is in regards to data breaches. Unfortunately, it is impossible to prevent any and all data breaches. So if a data breach were to happen with the use of a district approved app or tool, your school may be partnering with a researcher who is conducting a study and so you will want to refer to this policy to ensure you know what student data is allowable to be shared. Here are some best practices in helping to align with school and district policies in protecting your students' privacy. So understand how your school's policies apply to your role. Know when parental consent is required. And if you have any questions about these policies, know who to go to and be sure to ask them. Also, in learning about these policies and becoming familiar with them, have talking points ready for if and when parents, families, students ask questions about these policies. This helps to build trust that you and the school have the students' best interests in mind. Finally, we'd like to end with an activity. For the list of policies that we have gone through, check to see if your school or district has policies on each of these. Where are these policies posted? Online? Are they only accessible to you? And consider what policies do you think are missing? What information do you have questions about? And lastly, have any of the policies been adapted for remote online learning? And if not, changes might need to be made or what points of clarification are needed? Thank you so much for joining us in this training.